in custody after a security threat, a security alert, I should say, around a downtown Austin hotel this afternoon. The alerts warned people nearby of a possible gunman on a hotel balcony. KXAN's Kylie McGivern joining us live from the Doubletree Hotel at 15th and Lavakin. Kylie, still no word if the man really was armed. That's right. DPS, the lead on this investigation, has not confirmed whether the individual had a gun. I was just texting with somebody with DPS a moment ago. They said they are working to put out details in a release but are not planning to do a news conference. Here's what we do know, though. The manager of the Double Tree Hotel told us that there were reports of a drunk person in the hotel, and police responded right around 1240 this afternoon. Guests were told were to avoid the doors and the windows. Austin Community College students reached out to us saying they received a text alert to avoid the Rio Grande campus area. That's just a few blocks from here because there was a report of a person with a gun at the top of this hotel. But again, we want to reiterate that DPS has yet to confirm that there was a gun and the details of how all of this played out. Hotel workers told us the man you can see in handcuffs was staying at the hotel from Alabama. Troopers and a canine searched a silver truck before driving it away. Now, earlier, a viewer sent in photos of what appears to be a man on the balcony that you can see, and they heard negotiators talking to him. The suspect appears to have his hands up. Now, this building that you're looking at right here is right across from the hotel, and we spoke with a woman whose sister worked at that building and says that employees were told anyone that was along the windows to get away from the windows and work into more of the central offices of that building. And a lot of this, her sister called her saying she had concerns just because of some of the security concerns happening across the country. Now, again, this individual is in custody, but what we still don't know is whether he is going to be facing any charges. Of course, we are in contact with DPS and will bring you the latest details as soon as they become available. Back to you.